here she is. Here's the actual frame kit as she comes. It's the iFly Sidora, like I said, SL5. This is version V2.1, and this is the HD frame. So this is for the DJI Air unit. Let's get straight in, have a look. Open her up. Nice set of stickers you get with iFly stuff. We will find a good place for them to go. This looks like a instruction manual, so that's nice. Something that we can follow along. And here are all the parts. So, a couple of pads, a couple of battery straps. You get your plastic kits as well. So, there's some more plastic, that looks like the back, looks like the front, or two back options actually, I'd say. Yeah, two back options. More plastics. There's the actual frame, most of the frame itself. Bolt screws, standoffs, everything's there. These are to put your motor, wire through, motor wires through even on the arms. I don't really use them. I think they're a bit pointless to be honest with you. Won't be using those. But there, there's the whole kit. I'm gonna get these open, get them spread out. We'll have a look and crack on. So here's all the bits laid out. I've got to say, it is quite a chunky frame. It is very nice, to be honest with you. If you have a look at that arm, that arm has got to be, I don't know the exact measurements. I will try and find them out and list them all down below, but that looks like, it's got to easily be a five to six mil arm. That is a chunky, chunky arm. Very nice. Quality as normal with iFlight frames, absolutely beautiful. Everything is superb. Everything's packed nicely. Plastics are really nice. Uh, even give you a little camera mount here as well, or camera protector. Really nice touch to have. Uh, these are your mounts for your, your air unit, like I said. More plastics for your front and your back. A couple of antenna options for mounting. So if you've got a single antenna, and this is for your double. So obviously your double if you're gonna do DJI. Uh, feet mounts as well, it's all there. A couple of straps, absolutely beautiful. So without further ado, Let's get this all put together and built up as quick as we can, or as easy as we can. It should be pretty straightforward, guys. So let's look at getting these arms in place. And this looks like the correct frame. There's a little cut out there. So I would go with that this is on the bottom and put it like so. Yeah, so there's a little, there's a little cut out there, that up name facing down. That's the way that I would do it. And then the arms, these are like standard arms. They seem to lock into place like so. A lot of kits seem to do this method now. They lock into place there. So that's how the arms go. This would go on top like so. It's already got the screws in place and then it's just actually bolting it through. I'm gonna be doing the 30 by 30 stack. So these are these long screws here. They're gonna go through it. And then screwing the arms down with these bolts here. So I'm gonna get one in loosely and then get it all together.
So arms are pretty much locked into place. Get your stack screws in and then should be really nice and tight. And we all like a nice tight frame, don't we guys? So there we are, we've just put the bolts in the bottom to hold the arms on there. We've got the mounting screws in place. So they're all on there, if you can see that, get my face out of the way. She's looking pretty good. We're gonna get the um, air unit part on now, and this sits on the back. Make sure you get it the correct way. Larger bit towards the bottom. And this sits over one hole there and one hole there, and you're literally after a shorter Shorter standoff on that side and a larger standoff on the other side. So that goes through there. And the larger one, if I get the correct piece, pushes through there and she rests on there like so. And repeat for the other side. Screw through there and screw into that. One thing I have actually forgotten. They've got this mount here, and this is for your crossfire. So I will be using crossfire, and that is going to sit on the back here. So let's get that in. Can't believe I forgot that. So that actually goes in there as well. for the other side. So that's in place there. That'll hold your mortal T antenna. That'll hold your air unit. And we're pretty much there guys. It's a really easy frame to actually build. So let's look at the front. You can put that on the back if you like. That will protect the back. It's gonna stay off on my build. These are the camera plates and they go on like that. Hopefully you can see that. And two. These two little printed parts in there for the actual camera. And they go in these holes. So push those through. More standoffs for the front. Get those in place. Two large standoffs. Right, I'm gonna backtrack here, guys. I have done a small mistake. I've never done one of these frames before, so you'll have to bear with me. I've put the large standoffs on the back and you actually need two short ones as well. So these are two short ones. You're gonna put two short ones on the back because there is another part which fits on and makes up the actual height. So let's do that now. Let's replace these for two shorter ones. And then I'll show you what I did wrong or what goes on top even. So 
get rid of those. Two small standoffs in the back. So there we go, I've replaced the back larger standoffs with two shorter ones, and there's this part which holds the antennas in, and you have these two metal parts here. Let me show you that. And they fit into these holes here, push in, and find the other one, push that in, and that sits on top there and that makes up the extra height. So, we'll come back to that in a second. Two large standoffs on the front. There's the standoffs on the front. Camera mounts in place like so. This sits on the back here. And I think that is pretty much it guys. Let's have a look what we've got. A couple of little standoffs on here. Plates out again. God, those camera plates were annoying, aren't All the standoffs are in place now. We will get the camera plates in. Top of the frame, make sure we get this in the correct place. That'll fit in there. Go. That slots in there, and then let's just screw it all up. There we go. So I've just put those in just for show because obviously, when you actually build it up, you're gonna have to take it off again and put all your bits in and actually make your quad. She looks pretty nice, guys. So, I mean, there is an option on the back there for 2020 mount, so you could put a Cadex Vista in the back there if you wanted to, if you didn't have the air unit. But she looks like quite a nice frame. I'm impressed with how chunky those arms are. Those arms are absolutely beast. Really, really chunky. So yeah, there you go. There's lots more plastics you can stick on this if you want to. There's a front protector as well. So I might, might actually stick that front protector on. So don't forget to put your front protector on. Uh, there's all the arms as well, so you can st stick all of those on, they might actually go on. Push those in place, so you've got those. <clears throat> For when you slide along the floor, there you go, you can see them. So yeah, she's quite a nice little friend, you've got options as well, so if you've got some analogue, you can stick analogue in if you wanted to I suppose. And yeah spares and stuff like that. There's these funny little bits here I'm going to show you on camera because if anybody knows what they're for then please do tell me because I've got absolutely no idea. Comment below. Spare parts, spare standoffs, battery pad for the top, that would go there. You've got your strap as well, two straps, 
really nice to actually get two straps and they are good quality straps as well nothing cheap very nice straps camera protector as well that'll go in the front so that's a nice little touch to have so yeah quite a nice little frame guys there you go guys that is the Ciadora. i believe Ciadora is how you pronounce it i'm not completely sure to be honest with you this is the sl5 this is the v2.1 version and this is the hd frame so there hope you enjoyed that please do smash up thumbs up hit the subscribe and let's keep on doing these see you on the next one guys.